When the weather gets so cold, you see your nose turning red from the chill. There are a lot of things you need to keep in mind. But the things that you shouldn't forget to do are making sure that the good music that keeps you company during the long, cold nights and songs that make your heart beat faster with excitement are all stored and ready to play on your personal playlist. After spending an hour with this star, you'll find yourself saving her songs on your playlist for the cold days ahead. Let's smile and say hello to newcomer, singer, Yang Tsungyi. Hello, 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 Yang Tsungyi. Thank you so much for joining us here on Music Access. I bet our listeners are really excited to hear such a beautiful voice here in the studio. Can you say hello to our listeners? 네, 간단하게 자기소개 부탁드릴게요. 네, 제가 첫인사는 영어로 짧게 준비를 해봤는데요. Oh, she's prepared something in English for you guys. English, all right, let's go. Hi everyone, this is Yang Song Yi. I debut with my first digital single, Smiling Goodbye. I feel so thankful to introduce myself to the listeners of Arirang Radio. Nice to meet you. Wow, <laughs> 저보다 영어 잘하는 것 같은데. <laughs> wow, all right. 감사합니다. Wow, English, all right. So, welcome once again, and you know, welcome to the beautiful Pia. Of course, she's in the studio with us. So you were here on Thursday last week for our new special, and it's great to have you in the studio once again. All right, thanks for having me back. Yeah, kind of. Anyways, guys, so we don't have a lot of new female artists joining me in the studio for Music Access. I think this is the second time since we had Encia uh, come in for a special interview like a few months ago. We only invite the ones who are getting a lot of attention to the studio. What do you think about that? <laughs> Wow. All right, so this is actually her first live radio show. She's really happy to kick it off with Arirang Radio, and she's going to work really hard so that you guys will really enjoy her music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah guys, all right. So while searching for more inf- information about you, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of information out there. So we're going to ask everything and find out directly from you today, all right? Is that okay? 네, 지금 인터넷에 양송이 씨에 대한 자료가 많이 없어요. 네, 네, 네. 그래가지고 오늘 이제 궁금한 걸다 파헤치는 시간을 갖도록 할 건데 괜찮으시죠? <웃음> 네, 너무 좋아요. Yeah, she's oh, really excited. 네. Excited, all right. Yeah. So before we start though, you don't know a lot about me either, right? Do you know who I am? It sounds really weird just saying it because it's not a script. But do you know who I am? It's. 양송이 씨 혹시 아로하 씨가 누군지 네, 아시나요? 뉴이스트 선배님들 래퍼를 맡고. Yeah. She knows about you. She knows who you are. I'm also singer too. 아 노래도 한다고. Okay. Alright guys, well, it wouldn't be fair if I was the only one to at- ask questions, so while you answer, if you have any questions for me, you can raise your hand and say, I have a question for the DJ. I guess me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, she understood, okay? Yeah. So let's start about Yang Song Yi now. So you look really young, can you tell us how old you are, if it's not too much to ask? She's 19 years old in Korea. In Korea. So 18 years old in the States. So she's still a student. Still a student. Wow. So when did you debut and how? Audition or casting? Alright, so she debuted this October 1st, so it hasn't been that long. And she did over 30 auditions over the course of her life, ever since elementary school. She's been auditioning with friends, people she knows, and this time she got a really good opportunity, and so she got to make her debut. Right, and she's under Sony right. Music, Sony I believe. Music. Right, nice, nice. So since when did you want to become a singer? Was there like a special something that got you interested? 네, 언제부터 가수가 되고 싶다고 생각하셨는지 그리고 어떤 특별한 계기가 있었는지. 저는 초등학교 때부터 가수를 하고 싶었는데 이제 가수를 하고 싶다고 생각한 뒤로부터 다른 꿈을 가져본 적이 일단 한 번도 없어요. 그래서, 음. 그래서 초등학교 때부터 일단 노래를 너무 좋아했고 그래서 계속 열심히 하다가 이제 중학교 때부터 본격적으로 노래 연습도 하고 뭐 이렇게 해 가지고 가수가 된것 같아요. 
All right. So she's wanted to become a singer since elementary school, and she's never ever had any other dream. So wow. she's you know been in love with music forever, and she started kind of uh, pursuing that path in earnest in middle school. That's pretty tough because if you're an elementary kid and you're like, I want to be a singer, that's a very, that's a very big dream. For me, when I was in elementary, like, I was like, I want to be a police officer, mm-hmm. or like a firefighter. That was my dream in <laughs> elementary school. So. 아무튼 아, 초등학생들은 보통 이제 뭐 경찰관이나 그런 꿈을 가게 되는데 아, 가수라는 엄청난 큰 꿈을 yeah. 이루게 되셔가지고 대단하시다고. 존경해요. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, when did you hear from people around you that you sing well? 네, 주변에서 이제 노래를 잘 한다는 소리를 언제부터 들으셨나요? 저는 노래를 못 한다는 소리를 들어서 오기가 생겨서 더 열심히 했어요. Oh, alright. So she said that people around her told her she was a bad singer, so that made her want to practice more to become good. Really, people see people told me I was a bad singer, so I stopped singing. Yeah. 아니, 못 한다고 자꾸 해가지고 그만 놀아. 그냥 포기했다고 하지. I was the opposite. Alright. So did your parents support you, or were they against you becoming a singer? 네, 부모님은 어떻게 생각하셨나요? 노래하는 거에 대해서. 어, 저 어렸을 때부터. 제 가수가 되고 싶다고 얘기를 했을 때 일단 너무 어려운 길이기도 하고 힘든 길이니까 되게 처음에는 반대를 하셨어요. 근데 음. 제가 쭉 계속 노래를 더 하고 더 열심히 하는 모습을 보시고 더 이제 더 이제 지원을 하셔, 하시는 편이에요. Wow. Right. So at first the parents were kind of skeptical because obviously it's a very hard career. Right. But then they saw how persevering she was and how she how determined she was to have this dream come true. So they started supporting her. Wow, I think that's great. I think it's always good to have parents or family supporting you behind your back. So yeah, of course. Very important. Oh, by the way, guys, I totally forgot to mention this. We have our camera open right now, so hi, guys. If you guys didn't know, camera in the I forgot. 안녕하세요. I'm also just on me. <laughs> My bad, guys. I forgot to tell you guys. All right. So, what was the first song that you released? 네, 양송이 씨 이름으로 발표한 첫 번째 노래 제목은 네, 첫 번째 제가 10월 1일에 이번에 음원으로 발표를 한 웃음이 안녕이라는 곡은 어, 예고 없이 자꾸 멀어지는 남자 친구를 어, 향한 여자의 심정을 담은 그런 곡이에요. Wow. Alright, so she released her song 웃음이 안녕, Smiling Goodbye. Yeah. On October 1st, and that's a song about a, a girl who senses that her boyfriend or the person she loves is kind of slowly moving away from her. Slowly moving away from her. Yeah. So, what did it feel like to have your own song released for the first time? 네, 어떠셨어요? 처음으로 이제 양송이라는 이름으로 노래를 네. 발표하셨는데 일단 너무 신기했고 저보다 주변 사람들이 더 신기했고요. 제 주변 사람들이 더 저보다 홍보를 더 많이 해주셨고 wow. 아직도 사실 믿기지가 않아요 지금. Alright, so it hasn't really hit her yet. Like it's just really weird. But then yeah. it's weirder for the people around her, yeah. and they're like more excited and they're like promoting her song more than she is. Wow. I wish my friends would promote. They like just make fun of me when my songs come out. 아 아론 씨도 주변 사람들 홍보 좀 해줬으면 좋겠다고 맨날 놀리기만 한다. Alright, guys. So, did you ever feel discouraged or lose hope while you were recording your song or getting ready? 아, 노래를 준비하셨을 때 이제 약간 좌절이 생기고 그런 부분 없었나요? 저는 노래보다도 저는 다이어트를 해야 된다는 생각 때문에 음. 노래를 할때 너무 막 배가 고픈데 이제 막 해야 되니까 그게 사실 가장 힘들었어요. 노래를 준비하면서 다이어트가. Alright, yeah. so the hardest part wasn't actually the music. It was actually the fact that you had to go on a diet because you know you have to keep your figure. Yeah, yeah but so. I feel like this diet thing is just wrong because if you want to record, I feel like you have to be on a f- you don't have to be full, 맞아. but you have to have energy. You know, you have to eat to get that energy. I don't understand, but anything, guys. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna ask you questions, and you can answer with a yes or no this time. And you have to be honest. 네, 지금도 솔직 토크를 할 텐데요. Yes or no로 대답해 주시면 됩니다. 네. All right, guys. So I've sent messages to radio shows requesting my song. Yes or no. 네, 솔직히 내 노래 나온 다음에 공중파 라디오에 내 노래를 신청한 문자를 <웃음> 보내본 적이 있다. Three, two, one. 없다. Oh no. no. 없어요. Bainy, Bainy, so no. What about your manager? What about your manager? Yeah. Oh, 글쎄요. 어요 So, did you ask your friends or family to request your song? 친구나 이제 주변 지인분들 시켜본 적은 있으신가요? 저는 이게 신청보다도 이게 친구들이랑 이제 뭐 카페를 가거나 이렇게 하잖아요. 그럼 친구들이 가서 얘기를 해요. 어, 양성이 웃음이 안 나는 노래 좀 틀어주실 수 있냐고. 아, <웃음> 그 제일 네. 그 제일 나는 그 제일 싫어. 아, 제일 나 제가 부끄러워가지고. So annoying. Alright, so it's not so much like sending a request to radio stations, but like when she's at a cafe or out with her friends, she'll ask her friend. Uh, her friends will go up to like the person working behind the counter and be like, yeah. Can you put on Yang Song smiling goodbye? <웃음> My friends do that too all the time. It's so annoying. I'm like stop. <웃음> and they always put on. They always put on. You know what song they put on? They always put on 잠꼬대. Oh, always sleep talking. It's always sleep talking. It's always sleep talking. It's so annoying. Anyways, guys, you're very young, but I heard you take part in the songwriting process. Uh, so from the two songs that you've released so far, 
Which one did you write? 네, 양성희 씨는 이제 직접 작사에 참여를 하시는데 네. 지금 나온 두곡 중에 어떤 곡에 참여를 하셨나요? 어, Paradise라는 노래를 사실 작 